Okay, in this problem we're going to do some 3D uh, vector calculations. Uh, we have a cable right here, the AC cable, and it is 70 feet long, and the, it's uh, connected to point C, and it's connected to point A, and point A is 56 feet above uh, ground. Okay, and the tension in this rope is uh, 5,250 pounds. They are asking us to find the component of the force that uh, is from here, from point C upwards, and they want us to find also the angles, uh, theta x, theta y, and theta z, which uh, define the direction of this force. Now first, I'm going to go ahead and redraw this triangle that I'm working with right here and therefore I will be able to calculate these two angles alpha and beta and I did so right here I use the inverse inverse of sine 56 over 70 opposite of a hypotenuse give me gave me 53 that's down here and then 180 minus 90 minus the 53 that we found gives me 36 for this up here. Now, as we see here, our coordinate axis has its origin placed right here at this location. Well, this is not good for us because we are using our force from point C. So to make it easier for us to see the components and everything, I'm going to redraw our my axis right here with the origin at point C. Okay, here it is. Now you can see. I play this is my new x axis, this is my new z axis, and y is going up like this. Okay, now I have the force or uh, the origin and going this way. Okay, now using this rule from trigonometry, two parallel lines. When one is crossing, these two angles are the same. We can see that we have this parallel axis, y-axis, with this one. Since we moved it here, they are both parallel to each other. So therefore, this angle, beta, that we calculated here, will be the same as this one down here. And this will be our angle that we're going to use to find t of y, the y component of t. There you go, ty equals t times cosine of the angle that we found, and I wrote the wrong one over here. This one, beta, this is the one that we need to use. I accidentally wrote this one, but this angle is the bottom part. So you need to use beta, which is up here, not alpha. 4200 pound is what we, we're going to get. Now we're going to use a T and we're going to drop it down into the X and Z plane. So we're going to use the component, which is down here. And I'm going to call this as TH for horizontal. And that will be right here on our chart or graph, will be this right here. This will be TH, and we can calculate it T times the cosine of this angle, which is alpha. Now we can use this one, 53.13 degrees. We calculate this, plug in and calculate, and this will give us... 3150 pounds okay and now this will help us if we're gonna break it up we're gonna be able to find our component with respect to x and the other one with respect to z okay our x this is f h and my x component is gonna be right here and the z component will be right here so, T, X, T, 
tz. Now to calculate tx, we're going to use this triangle right here. So th, the hypotenuse, times sine 50. This angle is given, so we're going to use that. Sine 50, and this is going to give us 2,413 pounds. But we're not done yet. Tx equals, let's take a look at our origin, and on the x-axis, Tx is pointing this way. So therefore, this is negative 2,413 pounds. This is our x component of our original force. Now, T of z. We're going to use the same triangle, but now we're going to solve for this one. Th, now we're going to use cosine of that 50 angle from here, and this is going to give us 2,025 pounds. Again, we're not done. Let's take a look at it. Our origin is here, and this one is pointing that way. Our positive z is this way, and that's negative z. So therefore, this tz will be equal to negative 20, 25 pounds. Okay, we have all our components. Now let's start working on our angles. Okay, first uh, let's look at theta of y. Well, if we look over here, our theta y would be from the force that goes to the y-axis, which is right here, this one. We already calculated this one. This is our beta right here. And we know that that is 3687. So that one we already calculated in the beginning. We used it for other stuff, but we have it for this one as well. Okay, next step. Let's do theta of x, which is equal to. Okay, for theta of x, we're going to use this triangle that's made between our force, our force T, this one, and its component that goes this way, T of x. So this and this. And then from here, there would be another line down here. I'm just not going to put it there because there's too much stuff already on the graph, but that's the one that we're working with. And the cosine that we're going to calculate is with respect to this angle, but the calculation going to give us the angle that goes from our force T all the way down here on the positive side of our uh, x-axis. And this will be our theta of x. And you're going to use uh, cosine inverse, which will be equal to, up here we're going to have Tx, which we calculated to be negative, 2413 pounds, don't forget the negative, divided by our T, which is 5250 pounds, and this is 117.4 degrees. There you go, we found our second angle, OX, the theta X. And now let's do theta of z, our last angle. We're going to use the same process as we did up here. We're going to use cosine inverse. The component of z, which is negative 2025 pounds divided by 5250 pounds. And this is going to give us 112.7 degrees. And there is our third angle that we've been looking for. Again, this is from our T going to the positive side of our uh, Z axis. Not down here, right under it, to the negative side, but to the other side. You can tell this is an obtuse angle. So, if it would go under it, that would be an acute angle. And we are not working with that. We are working with this one. 
here to the positive side of the axis.